and welcome back to the Realm Gaming Channel. My name is Mordoram41975 and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about my top 5 vehicle related wish list for GTA 6. So in recent times there has been a lot of uh, GTA leaks going around the community such as release dates, where it's going to be set, the era, all that kind of thing. So I'm not going to be speculating any of that in this video but it has been quite highly speculated that it is going to come out next summer. So before that game actually releases I actually wanted to do this short video of my vehicle related wish list for GTA 6. So we're not going to be talking about cars that I want to see in that game, we're going to be talking about features related to cars that I want to see. So I've got five features here that are really cool features that I would like to see and we'll start it off at number five. So at number five I've got better vehicle interiors so when GTA 5 came to the next gen consoles we got first person mode which was actually really cool I'm really glad Rockstar added that but unfortunately they didn't update the vehicle interiors and even with the new cars that get released in GTA they don't have updated interiors they're just taken from existing cars and plonked into the new cars so I would like to see in GTA 6 a lot better vehicle interiors. At number 4 we have, um, but that's working winches. Now a lot of vehicles, especially the off-road vehicles in GTA, have winches or you can apply winch upgrades to them which will add a winch to the front bumper or to the back bumper. But none of them actually work, and that's a real shame because off-roading for me is quite a big part of GTA. I'm a muscle car fan, but I also like off-roading. And I play a lot of uh, Spin Tires game, the Mudrunner Spin Tires game, and in that the winch um, physics are really cool. You can winch yourself out uh, of a position, you can winch yourself towards a tree or, or a large object, or if you're with a friend, you can winch off each other's truck. And it's really cool, and it makes it for some really cool gameplay. But unfortunately, we don't have that in GTA. So I'd love to see that in GTA 6. And that's working winches. At number 3, this is kind of a feature we have in GTA 5, but not very good. And that's NOS on all vehicles so those of you who've played GTA San Andreas will know that 99% of the cars in the game could be upgraded and all of those cars that could be upgraded had the ability to have NOS um, fitted to them which you could either have a one shot NOS a four shot or a ten shot I think and so obviously that was how many times you could use the NOS and for some reason they didn't have this feature in GTA 5. But when the Arena War DLC came out they decided to add it. So the Arena War vehicles, some of which are really cool, do have the NOS feature. But none of the other vehicles in GTA, the what I call regular vehicles, can have NOS fitted to them. So a lot of really cool cars like the Elegy Retro Custom that obviously come from Fast and Furious, where NOS is quite highly used, they can't actually have NOS fitted to them. So it was in previous GTA titles, but they've not got it in this brand new version of GTA. And what's also really weird, for vehicles, especially the Benny's vehicles, like the LG Retro Custom and the Comet Retro Custom, they actually have a button for NOS on the steering wheel. And sometimes in those vehicles you can actually fit a NOS tank in them. So I know a lot of the muscle cars, if you put a roll cage in, then it will add a NOS sort of canister. And they don't actually have NOS on them. So it's really stupid why they don't have NOS. 
definitely would love to see NOS on all of the vehicles in GTA 6. And number two, I've put sort of two together here because they're related. Number one is better wheels in GTA 6. So in GTA 5, we've had the same wheels since the launch of the game. We've not got any new wheels in the game. So I'd like to see a lot more wheels. But also I'd like to see... Um, the ability for stock wheels to be added to the directory. So what I mean by this is a lot of the new vehicles in GTA 5 actually have brand new wheels, brand new stock wheels only for that car. But sometimes I find that those wheels would fit really well on another car, but unfortunately we can't actually put those wheels on that other car unless you use mods or something. So I think every time Rockstar add a vehicle that has new wheels they should add it to the custom shop so you can apply those wheels to your other cars and then tied in with this i'd also like to see the ability to change the radius of the wheels so you could make the radius bigger or smaller and also the width of the wheel so a lot of muscle cars in real life have really fat tires on the back and really skinny ones on the front obviously for drag racing but that is just a feature we don't have in GTA Online. So I'd love to see more stock wheels in the game and the ability to change the stock wheel size as well. And our final thing on this list, at number one, I have engine swaps. So this is kind of a thing that we have in GTA, but it's not very effective. Um, so there was a few new cars added in the Casino DLC that allowed us to actually swap the engine. But when I say swap, it was more change the appearance of the engine. So it didn't actually change the performance in any way and it didn't change the sound of the engine either. It literally just changed the image of the engine. Now, a lot of games sort of like The Crew 2 and uh, Need for Speed Heat and also Forza Horizon, they allow for engine swaps. And when you actually swap the engine out, it will produce better performance, but it will also produce a better sound or, or different sound, I should say. So if you've got like a really, um, uh, you know, if you've got a really slow car, you could swap a V10 in it. It would sound amazing and it would go very fast. And that would make for some really amazing sleepers in GTA 6, which is actually something we don't really have in GTA 5. There are faster cars in the game that can keep up with um, the likes of supercars, but they're not really sleepers. So it would be really cool to see engine swaps that actually had a different performance and also changed the sound of the engine. But that is it for my top five uh, vehicle related features that I want to see in GTA 6. Let me know what you think of this list. Is there any features that you really want to see in GTA 6? And also, when do you think GTA 6 will be releasing? Let me know in the comment section down below. But thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.